you know what's so funny, bro? Like in your videos, you be like, uh, uh, what'd you say? Big player can't do nothing with no skinny hoe. Like yeah. you just look like he was like kind of stocky, but you are you're you're a pretty big dude. Like you're not no little dude. I really just like gained some weight. Like I I came home like two ten. Yeah, I'm probably like two forty now. Wow. Yeah, motherfucking Casamigo. Yeah, yeah, shit. Casamigo hoes. That should have put it liquor, on you. Yeah. Uh, bad eating. Hibachi. Pa pasta, chicken Hibachi, wings at nighttime. Yeah, all that shit. Yeah, that and then you go home, up. sleep on that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That Wake up, been. like, went to bed 210, woke up 250, like, damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? All that extra stuff like that, man. So yeah. um, what is it that people do that they get mad when you do it? Shit, <laughs> man. Shit, man. I wanted to ask that because I was like, that's the line that made you the most popular thing. It was like, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. I it's like, crazy okay. because, like, I was just telling my little brother, it's like, it's like I like I cursed myself or something. Like, it's like, it's like anything I do is a problem. Right. But I can see somebody else do it and it's all right. Like, don't nobody you, say nothing about you it. You know why, though? I think it is. It's just like, it's like some people accept certain things. From certain people. From certain people. It just, it, I don't think it's a it's a bad thing, though. Like, it's like, for example, like some comedians can be can say a certain joke a certain way and it's funny when they say it. Yeah. It's not funny when the other, it's the same joke. Yeah. And it's certain clothes that other people can wear that you yeah, can't wear. Yeah, like, like, you know, I, I'm not, I, like, I'm not a tall man. You, would you want to see me in a tall tee? Exactly. It's cool uh, when he do it. Like, no, uh, bro, it's not. <laughs> You're a midget. Let's not do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, we, we look at it from their point of view, yeah, but like, it's. It's life, I guess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, and I guess that's why. I'm sure there's things that you get away with that other people are like, damn, I can't do that. Mm. You finesse two times. Yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you know? but you know, damn. Yeah. You know all what the saying? rings, you walking to the club, you know, hoes are like, hey. <laughs> And it's, it's like, it's cool when he does it. How come it's not cool when I do you ain't, you ain't got You ain't got to hit records. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, looking at it from that point of view. Yeah. yeah, I guess I can, yeah. Yeah, it's something yeah. you got to accept, bro. It's like, all right, man, there's some things I can't get away with. Ever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Do you remember the first time you sat in there and you was like, man, I'm I'm really going to take my music seriously. Like, you sat there and he's like, this this is it. I'm going harder. I ain't doing it at all. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I was incarcerated. Like, I had, uh, like, I was facing a whole lot of time. That's how I know it was prison and not jail. Why you say that? Because you said the word incarcerated. Yeah. Only people who've been to prison say incarcerated. Yeah. They don't, they don't say jail. Jail is not the, the same. County, you know, cover day or you can't make bond. Yeah, yeah. Some shit like that. But yeah, I was incarcerated and um, um, I I I got over everything that I was facing, and shit. I was like, oh shit, I'm going home. Like, uh, it's time to go ahead and get serious now. Yeah. Like, I started working out. I started writing. I started focusing on my mental, reading books. You know what I'm saying? Just staying focused, focusing on being a man, like getting ready for society because being incarcerated, you'll be locked up so long, you'll kind of get adapted to what's going on in there. Like it's real. Yeah, like it's your life. Like it's its own matrix. It's like it's your life, but it's not. Like everybody got a due date. Even people who got 15, 16 years, you going home one day. So yeah. I used to tell guys that had a lot of time, like, don't get too caught up in this shit because you going home one day. So you got to... Still focus on the future. Still focus on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because like, yeah, it's, it's, it's this what's going on right now. But this ain't your life. This ain't where you live. You see what yeah. I'm saying? You just it's here you for stay. a moment. Yeah, for a while. So when that's when I like I got super serious. But I I've been rapping like before then. I was I was rapping. I've been, that situation just made you say, you know what, bro? Let me focus. Nah, it was like I was focused before I went in. It was just. Uh, uh, things that happened. I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Mm. Like I'm ready now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, but I still make mistakes. But I, I, I'm. They minor. They ain't. They ain't fatal. You know like, what's so crazy? The mistakes I see you make now, it just seems a little bit more funny. Or like it's 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 not <laughs> like mistakes. It's just situations to me. Like like you be gossiped about because you got two girl. You had two girlfriends at one time, and like that was the three. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> How dare I leave one extra pussy out? My bad. You know what I mean? You know, if I left your box out of the equation, my bad. Let me throw your box back in here. But uh, uh, yeah, three. Do you still have three or is it just... Nah, one. The headache, right? Nah, she's not... She actually not a headache. No, no, no. Not the one you got. I'm talking about having three. I mean, it, mm. it, it just... It wasn't just... It. it was a headache, but it yeah. was more... Um, it, it started to get weird. Like it Meaning what? Like you like, had to like... 
service one and two weeks nah, later? It, it wasn't normal. Like, and then I got a daughter. And my, and my daughter was staying with me, like, and there was certain things that she had come to me and ex, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't have an answer for it. And I was like, maybe this is some shit I need to baby. rethink. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this is some shit I need to revamp. Like, yeah. I need to probably really think about this. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I thought about it, it's like, it was a no-brainer. Because yeah. my, my daughter was more important than my fantasies. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So, so you had to rethink your purpose and how to adjust your fantasies to to the reality of what of was life, going on. Of life. But see, you know, like I said, being stuck in that mindset, incarcerated, I want to go home, I'm going to get three bitches, yeah, I'm going to yeah, do yeah. this, I'm going to do... And then you get out and do it and realize that this shit really ain't... It ain't all that. Like, it, it ain't... It ain't reality. Well, not just reality. Like, when you, it's, it, how, you can't have, there's, there, you've never seen a football game with three quarterbacks on the field. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, there's, only, there's only one queen on the chessboard, bro, nah, and she got to watch every, and, and, and she's only your queen when you have the right strategy to give her right. so that she can watch your back properly. Right. But when right. you got three just girls just running around, y'all having fun, ain't none of them your queen. They just pawns. Nah, and, it's just, they but, pawns. And, but like, and I don't the mean them personally. The difference I just between mean, I get it. Yeah. The difference between me and a lot of people is, um, like I, it was kind of like, like I said, it was a fantasy. It, it ain't something that I literally like needed. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It was just something I wanted to do, and you know what I'm saying? It just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? One, I ain't gonna say it wasn't working out. It just wasn't appealing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? To 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 a man like once I once because. One thing about me, I know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But I came home and I was so focused on wanting to do what I've been wanting to do. And I've been looking at the magazines. I've been looking at the rap videos. I've been, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to get out and pop it. I'm, I told myself I wasn't going to buy my uh, 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 expensive whip for a year. I told myself I was going to, three months, I had a Rolls Royce truck. Yeah. Like a lot of things. Like I told myself, I'm going to keep working out. Got out. Gained 30 pounds yeah. in two months. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you think saying? your discipline fell off? Yes. That's, yes. Yeah, that's, yes. You know what's so crazy? Let me tell you something, bro. I had this conversation with somebody else in the industry. I've been in the, at this game a long time, bro. And I had this conversation with somebody else. And I was like, what I've what I have tend to notice, especially with the men, and this is not a disrespect to women. We just It's not that one's better than the other. We're just different. Right. I don't know why different is a problem now, but we're just different. And uh, discipline for men is the foundation for everything great in our life. And I, I, mm. I, it doesn't. I don't care what you're trying to do as a man. If you don't have the foundation of discipline, it will never succeed. Yes. If you want to be a better lover in the bedroom, but you got no discipline to figure it out, you yes. will never be that dude. Yes. If you don't have the discipline to figure out how to work out and figure, and what I tend to notice, especially with men, I don't know how you feel about this, but this mm. is my question to you, is whenever we work out on our bodies. Everything else seems to get better for us. Yes. I don't know what it is about our physical, but whenever I see a guy like he go, he went through a bad thing in his life, and then he goes to the gym, everything else starts popping even, for even him. If, even if you ain't seeing instant results, it still feel good to know that you the blood over, flowing, you the brain overcame, thinking. like you overcame that fear, like thinking that you couldn't do it. Yeah. Like, the thing like it gives you like, you know, that's the wrong. Yeah. Uh, it gives you kind of like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I said it wrong. But, like extra juice? Uh, yeah. Well, it, what what y'all laughing said, at with? I said it backwards. Okay. <laughs> but it, it give you like an extra drive though. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so for me, you know, so that's what it do for me. But yeah, I noticed that in all men, it gives you, make you walk yeah. with a little more pride. Little I, more I, the reason why I bring that up is because I don't, when you came out the gate, it was so smoking hot. Right. And unfortunately, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. Uh, when you become a public figure in some way, you are now becoming the product that people are buying. Right. That, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying like you have to be sold. Right. It's 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 a it's a metaphor for understanding that you're selling a product. The product is you. And if people are gonna know you for I got extra girlfriends right. or I'm over here in this man, then they're gonna forget about the and then not just that I'm rapping, the music. I'm rapping about pimping. I'm rap like and it's like. All this running into each other, so it's just like, and you know, today's society that ain't what it is. That ain't what's going on today. It's, it's cool to be a trick today. Like, yeah, it yeah, is. Like, like it's the, really the weird tricks to me. is getting the action. Like the the tricks is who winning. Like so, the pimps is frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it was kind of like, but like you said, it was smoking hot. 
But like I like with me, I think I think I just had to adjust to society. Like mm -hmm. it, it was a lot of things that I seen that like it's it's guys out here that's doing things that they don't want to do. Yes. But they have to do it because those are the things that the society accepts. Or oh, that's all the knowledge that they have. You see what you, I'm saying? You hit a wall of uh, where you run out of knowledge of what to do next, and sometimes people fold at that wall. Right. People jump over it, or they figure out a way to get through it. Some people just don't. So nah, for real. Stuck in that. I just hit my two-year mark of being free. Wow. Of being home. So, and it's the longest I've ever been out since I was a teenager. Really? Yes. So it's like, this the most I've ever learned. Like, everything I know is come from behind bars. Unbelievable, bro. So, so everything that I, I'm learning, like, and I and I appreciate the people that understand it and take their time with me and don't talk behind my back and they take it slow with me and like and don't look at me like my that nigga know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I don't like, but I can know that it feel like I'm doing something. Some, like your discernment comes in and you're like, is this wrong? Yeah, or right? like A it feel bit. weird, but I just sometimes I just need somebody to say. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This shit lame. Right. And I'm like, this shit lame. Man. Right. Yeah. I yeah. I felt that shit was lame. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. And I, you know what I'm saying? Adjust to to the to the situation. And right. I, but one thing about me, like, you can show me something, and I got it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with working out. It's like it's got so much going on. You're moving so much. You. I, I'll I'll tell you this, bro. Again, been at this a long time. I'll tell you this. Uh, you, you gotta, in my opinion. I don't know what people around you are gonna tell you. They could tell me they don't listen to ET, he, whatever. Right. Um, but in my personal opinion, I I tell especially like the people in the, in the industry, if you don't make the time for yourself, mm -hmm. your your, your empire is bound to crumble. And what I mean by that is is if I if someone says, hey, I want you to meet so and so at ten o'clock, and I have to be at the gym at ten, mm -hmm. I can't meet them at ten. I can't meet them at ten. No, no, they they don't. They want to cut a check. If they want to cut a check today, they're gonna want to cut it tomorrow. And if not, God will bring something different. Right. I got I got. I got, the reason why they're coming to me is because I go to this gym at 10. Right. And I work out and I go host this certain type of party and I do a certain type of thing or I'm in the schools a certain type That's of way. They, if you yeah. interfere with that because they want to join in on it, but they want to join in at the time that, that I created myself in this realm, you're interrupting what brought them to me. Right. You know? So why would I change that? So my my I guess my advice to you would be make yourself a priority. Otherwise, yeah. there's... There's no foundation to build the mansion that you want to live in. And I understand it. And I'm going to take you up on it because this is something that I've been working on. It's just that it's, it's no excuse at all. I know what, what the excuse is. What? You have, you've been out for two years. And, but, and you've never but, in your life, and, and, the, and you have this thing of fear of missing out. Because you've yes. never really been able to have it. And it's like, oh, my God, if I don't get this, I don't know how long I'm going to have it for now. And I, and I, and I. When I take, when I get time to myself, like how you, your time to yourself, you might work out. Yeah. I might, I meditate. Like I, I get to myself and think like, but I know that working out helps me think more. Like even if I'm just scrolling through the phone, I might just be scrolling, but I'm not really looking at shit. I'm, I'm thinking for real. Like I'm, or I'm writing music or, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm, I'm in my own space, but like those are the times where some it'll click in my mind. Like. I ain't get up and do a hundred burpees. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And sometimes you see I Kendrick, do it. Kendrick B. Sometimes I do it though. Like <laughs> in his some, videos. <laughs> sometimes I do it. Like it's been times where like I I I go two weeks working out and then I stop for like a week and a two and then I be like, man, look, fuck it, get up and do something. Like, like, even if you just did a hundred a day, hundred yeah. push-ups a day, yeah. right? Hundred push-ups a day is three thousand a month. Right. Nobody's doing three thousand push-ups a month. That'll change your whole body. It's a lot of people doing 3,000. I mean, in prison. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in prison. But I'm talking about like the, like out here in the world. Yes, yes, They're yes. They not. They not. Their priorities have changed because they don't think of themselves as a priority. No yes. More. Everything else around them has become more important. They don't realize that they take time in themselves. It'll build everything else around them. I feel like I try not to beat myself up because I know like with uh, within another year or year and a half, yeah. I'm going to be all the way back to who I was when I was in there. Like, Why? Mentally, physically, spirit, because I'm having, I'm still having to adjust. Like, for example, I'm just now adjusting on how to treat women. Yeah. Like, in jail, you don't learn you how don't, to yeah, treat yeah, women. Yeah. No. Like, you don't, you don't learn that women are emotional. 
You don't learn that they do things out of spite. You don't learn it. And you're not around women. Right. You're around dudes all day. Right. So it's like I had to get out here and learn, like, my girl might do something, and I might look at it like the ultimate betrayal. Like, she disloyal as fuck. Woo. And then I take it to a, another dude, and they be like, but it's just a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and for so long, I heard them like, man, I don't got nothing to do with it. Like, you still foul. Like, no, bro, like, you got to understand. But then when you see your mama do it, and you see people you right, love right, do it, right. and it's like, all right, this is just a woman. Like, but I had to learn it. Yeah. I had to learn it. Like, that, that, that was forced on me, and I had to learn it because this is where I'm at now. Yeah. So now that I'm adapting to it, I'm getting used to it, and that's not the only thing. Like, we have a newborn. I've never been in the house. I got six kids. It's the first... I just had my my the first child I seen come out myself. The first time being in the house with a newborn. Right. Like, all little, and then I'm 32. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's all new to me, but I'm experienced enough to adapt. Right. But it's taking a little time, like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm getting it. So I know, like, within the next year, year and a half, I know, like, I, I got it. Right. I got it. Like, and, and, and the music part of it, though, what do you think is the biggest adjustment you've had to make since you've been out? Because I know when you had the, those first initial, yeah, I'm going to go mm -hmm. in the booth, and I'm so excited, and the music industry is going to love me because I'm dope. And then now you see it's a business. Yeah. The excitement more, part is like, oh, Yeah, God. the excitement part go away. But when it comes to the craft, uh, simplicity. Mm. Every, all the simple things is you don't have to be super lyrical no more. You don't have yeah. to be... You don't have you to. You can be lyrical, but still make a song. I think people have forgotten that part. Yeah, but you don't all have to the be like, viral moments come from simple. Yeah, you can say a lyrical thing in a melody. Yeah, but man, it get real simple. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, but and and if you listen to my music, you'll know what I mean. Because yeah. I I get lyrical. I use I heard. certain metaphors, and and so it's kind of kind of adjusting to that now. Yeah. Like adjusting to being simple. But because I might go in there and say something simple and be like, oh, that shit's so weak. I don't but think then my guy like, but that shit was hard. And I'm like. But it's not, it's not, okay, 90% of this, and take it from a guy, I've been around music my whole career in this industry. Mm -hmm. And I think what people don't, it's funny artists never come to us and be like, what do you think I should do with this? And I'm like, bro, I don't know why artists don't. I literally sit at the table of the, of the tower and I watch what's coming in online, what's coming in from the record labels, what's coming in from the clubs and artists never come to us and ask us and like we literally live in a world of tones and frequencies. I talk for a living right. and I get people who don't know me to get to like me through my vocals. Right. So I understand how vocal waves and frequencies work and people don't and I tell artists, I'm like, it's not so much what you're saying, it's just how you say it. Right. Just say it a certain way and it'll be, it'll go mm. through and it, it'll come through a certain way. Use this frequency and tone and you're in there and people, yeah. will, but they, but artists are so busy living around like producers and they're mm. trying to craft you into like what they think you are. And and producers will say, we make this stuff dope. And I'm like, I'm out here in the world yeah. and you're trying to tell me what you did in your studio is what the world is living like. I'm like, bro, that's not that's it. Not, yeah, that's <laughs> and I'm not trying to be mean, right? but you got to stand up where yeah, I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I'm following you. And like I said, it's I just how you say it. Yeah, but I want to go back to the first part you said when you said something about the business part yeah. of it. Um, I thought I was ready for that. Ooh. I thought I was ready for that, and I thought I had it figured out, too. Like, And I came home and thought it was, and then it came around, and I'm like, this shit ain't what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Like, it ain't. The money cool. Like, it, it get to a point where the money cool, the lifestyle cool, like, it's, but it's like the business, like, I wish I would have studied more. I wish I would have knew more. Mm. I wish I would have took my time and and studied it. I wish I would have waited because I would much rather, like, be in, like, a Yo Gotti situation. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Like, but I understand he had trial and error also. Like, he's yeah, yeah. coming up in his, in his, he went through what he went through to be who he is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I understand now that, like, you know what I'm saying? I wish I would have took a little bit more time. Yeah. So how? So so where where do you go now? You because that's because okay you hit the wall now what? So where do you go? Um, I think I think I think now I just continue to adapt. 
You know what I'm saying? Continue to work um, um, and just get that discipline back. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and spend more time to myself. Get that, that self time yeah. back like you explained. It like, doesn't have to be all day. No, 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 no. At this time, every day, I, don't bother me. Yeah. You know, I yeah. get my one hour yeah. to, to do whatever, my, my meditation, my yeah. workout, my... I have to learn a different song style, whatever mm -hmm. that might be, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I came home with probably like 200 some songs, 270, 280 songs, wrote that too. Like, I, I've been kind of trying to do away with that and that mentality that I used to have and kind of like start rapping about everything that's going on now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, there's another place where I'm at in my, you know what I'm saying, my career. Right. You know, but. Start learning about investments yet? Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I love learning about investments because this like the this the next phase. Like, you know, you the, know, you know who surprised me as a young artist, and he are, he's already on real estate and trucking and everything else, okay. and his investments already. The Skiller baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm already, you know, that's how he talks. I'm already, you know, man, just invested in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool guy, cool. Yeah, guy, man, cool he guy. cool dude, bro. I was like, oh, okay, he's a smart dude. So you know, I what actually mean? got a record in with Skiller. He kind of used in. We vibed real good yeah. in the studio. We got like two or three records in. Who's like, a surprise artist you got a record with? Like maybe it's not out, but you recorded it. Like, damn, I got a record with, like artist. a country record, a country song, or or some maybe an artist. People were like, damn, you got a record with so and so. It's not out yet, even if we don't hear it. And he's he's, he's, he's saying you can't. What he can't, he can't say the um, artist. Um, people who like who like some that you probably you probably wouldn't see coming, like Lil yeah. TJ. Okay. Like from New York. Like, all right. Yeah, you probably wouldn't see that coming, but we got a dope record. Okay. Like, like it makes sense. You know how sometimes. Because there's a lot of the artist songs that have, have records with these artists that never come out. I just like to find out, like, oh, you got a record with so and so? Yeah, it's never coming out, though. Like, you know, it's like, all right, cool. Well, it's fun to know that you did a record with. That, that's actually. I got a record gonna, with, you know, Taylor Swift, gonna... but it's never going to see the light of day. But that's cool that you did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't wait to meet them type of people. <laughs> Taylor Swift's. <laughs> The fifty cents, and that's my. That's, that's who I, you want to meet? Yeah, that's who I want to work with. Really? Yeah. This Taylor Swift and the fifty nah, cents. I want to work with fifty cent. Taylor Swift would just be a wow. Yeah. Like, oh, like just I get to meet yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Anybody record, else? Like what? Do I, what I want? You want like to work with? Besides just you know fifty. And... I mean, oh, I didn't work with a lot of. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I not really work with my dream artist, Yo Gotti. So it's like. It's, that dope. part's done. Yeah, this dope. Yeah. Gucci man, like this dope. So, I'm... oh, I've been I've been around Gucci when he used to have the Gucci gut. Yeah, called the Gucci <laughs> gut. You had that belly. You had some money. I was like, that's the oh, homie got the Gucci gut. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. But uh, I'm at a cool spot and I'm working. I got my team. I got my team right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, I got the people around me who, who, who don't mind telling me when I'm wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Got my management right. I got B Mims with me, and like it's crazy because this is the first real management that I had since I've been out. Wow, you see what I'm saying? Right. But do you see the adjust? The adjust yeah, yeah, you had to grow because I went like maybe eight nine months with no management. So Just I pick so, up the phone so call. So I so. wasn't governed. <laughs> I wasn't governed at all. It was. Right. And you got to understand if I'm not governed. If I'm not governed and I don't know what to do, you can only understand what's going on. Exactly. It's just pandemonium. I'm getting on the internet. I'm saying anything. Bang, right. I'm posting. I'm making, saying anything on the caption. I'm getting shadow banned. I'm, yeah. You know, the algorithm messed up and just all over the place. And But now I've, I got real management now. Like somebody who know what they doing. Somebody who been around the block. Somebody who... I ain't scared to tell you how they feel. I ain't somebody who ain't scared to walk away from you. Like, yeah. hey, bro, if you ain't trying to do it right, I'm just going, I ain't got time. Like, you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they they trying, like, they want to see you in a better position. And everybody want to eat, but in the same sentence, if he, hey, bro, you got it. You just need the right people around you, the right formula, the right system. That's what I was missing. And a lot of rappers, they have that. And they had that for years. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's what I've been missing. So with me, time will tell. Yeah. Like next time you see me. Well, that's me, for everybody, brother. But, but yeah, I feel you. But like every everybody either get better or time with time or worse. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And I, I already did the bad part. Yeah. So the 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 clown finesse, the 
the finesse that made bloopers, the finesse that made mistakes that look like look weird. Like, that's over with. That, that that part over. Right. I know who I am. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that, that's dope though, bro. So the the the, the single though. Because oh. he emailed me a record. He didn't tell me which one, though. Oh, Pretty Ricky. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't, he's like, y'all, I, I thought you was going to go to the next one. I thought you <laughs> was going to. But, yeah, the Pretty Ricky record is banging. Uh, uh, I ain't going to put too much out there yet, but we just shot the video yesterday. Okay. We had Pleasure P pull up. It was a vibe. Yeah, he came. I had I had him at my R. I do an R and B Wednesdays on the South Side. Mm -hmm. He came and pulled up and killed it. Yeah, yeah they, 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 like cool he's, dude, genuine. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, we got that coming. Record is out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, uh, we. I think it's been out like five, six days. Doing okay. real good. Yeah, like, he's doing real good. Um, I think it's a more appealing to the ladies. They like to see the lady side of me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying the the the. I guess for next two get, times get, going through that husky love. Era. <laughs> He's going through it's the next two times going through the soft era. Go through the you soft know? era. <laughs> don't I'm start cool. using words like I'm that. Cool. Bro. I'm cool with it because I know who I am. I know, but I'm don't come. please. Nah, I got to do that. I got to be like that. I got to. It is what it is. I've been rough long. Bro, no, you know why? Look, look. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this real quick. I'm gonna tell you why I don't like the description. I like like. Mean girl era, soft girl. I have a friend of mine. I ain't gonna say her name, but she's in the industry, right? And she goes, I'm in my mean girl era. I'm like, no, you're just being a whore. Like, yeah, wow. I'm like, stop, stop trying to give it a title that that makes it edible for me. Like, you're being a whore. I'm in my mean girl era. No, I'm in my stop it, bro. <laughs> stop giving it an era title. <laughs> yeah. I can dig that. I can dig But it's that. all good though, bro. Yeah. I, I appreciate you stopping by, man. Most and definitely. uh and best of luck to you. Congratulations that of you stepping back and kind of like, you know, from Michael Jackson's words, kind of like looking in the man in the mirror a yeah. little bit and, uh, uh, and figuring yourself out, man. Because a lot of men, a lot of people, men and women, just can't take that 100% accountability. A lot of yeah. people do passive accountability, which is yeah. just like, I did it, but it's only because you did yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't you know? doing that. The only reason I got that going on is nah. because that. It's like, nah, bro. Like, I fucked up. And yeah, it just yeah, is yeah. what it is. It like, is what it is. And I can't do nothing but make it right. Yeah. I know better. So. I just did on that. Yeah. Man, finesse two times. Yes, sir. <laughs>